Hi folks, my name is Steve Bowman. I'm a business development manager for Honeywell First Responder Products. Today I'm going to show you and talk to you a little bit about our new Titan SCBA. The Titan SCBA is a 2013 edition. It's a new design for us at Honeywell First Responder. A couple of the key features. We have a aluminum aircraft aluminum backplate. We have three holes on the side, the one on this on this side. Each one of these cavities is rated for a one 1,000 pound pole test uh, for, for easy rescue. The back pad is swivel, so it gives you swivel capabilities, comfortable left and right. Also pivots up and down, which is very comfortable when you're crawling up and down stairs around obstructions. The inside of the, of the straps have an air shield product attached to it. This helps grip the, the turnout gear. It keeps the strap from wanting to fall off to the side. We have two pass, so pass motion sensors built into the unit. One is at the base of the unit. The other one is located in the pass device itself. So these two motion sensors work in tandem. And they're redundant sensors, so anytime either one of those sensors are in motion, this will keep the pass device from going into pre-alarm condition. This is the largest uh, robber of the battery power, is having a pass device go in to, to a full alarm, uh, which robs a lot of the battery power. So with the two redundant sensors, this keeps it, the, the battery life to a minimum. Batteries are located down here. The compartment takes four C-cell batteries. Uh, the change out is recommended about every six months for battery changes. There's also a thermal alert circuitry built into the SCBA. So when the ambient temperature is at a very dangerous level, you will get an alarm. This tells the firefighter that he's in a very, very hot condition and he must evacuate the area. The mask is our standard 2020 mask carry over from our survive air one of the key features is with our mask the exhalation it comes out the bottom of the mask not through the second stage regulator this is very important for cross-contamination so if a worker is sick if a firefighter is sick or if he uh, would happen to throw up in his mask or if he's carrying a cold he's not going to infect the second stage regulator that's it in a nutshell thank you very much stop by and see us